There has been a lot of discussion about the potential recession in the United States. Sam Fernley here with Trudor Property Management. I'm going to try to help you understand what a recession really means for your property in today's market. With rising nationwide inflation comes the concern from property owners how a recession might affect them. Although rentals typically offer better protection than other investments in a downturn, they're not entirely recession proof. One of the biggest concerns for property owners is vacancy with their property. Here are some scenarios that could increase the likelihood of experiencing vacancies in a recession and will create additional challenges for property owners, but along with suggestions for counteracting them. Is your rental over market value? If you've been charging higher rents than your competitors, a recession could cause your tenants out to renew their leases in favor of a cheaper one. This could be a double-edged sword for property owners. They risk losing tenants who could otherwise afford their rents along with those tenants already unable to pay because of job loss. In this environment of a possible recession, you should be aware of what competitors are asking when it comes time for the lease renewal. Most tenants don't want to move, but will if they can find a better deal. Be very thorough screening applicants. Although it's tempting to rent out vacant units as quickly as possible in a recession to regain lost income, you're much better off being more diligent than usual when performing background checks on prospective tenants. Carefully review their credit report, proof of income or other acceptable earnings, and their rental history if they are a previous renter to determine if they have a good track record in paying the rent on time. In the long term, it's better to wait another week or two than to accept a below standard tenant. Are you offering standard lease agreements? It's common to offer new and current tenants a standard lease agreement even during a recession, but why not negotiate a longer lease term at a slightly lower rate? The rate reduction could make your unit more appealing and encourage tenants to sign on the dotted line. Other attractive options include fee waivers, deductions, or doing away with certain restrictions such as not allowing pets. Allowing pets enables you to expand your pool of applicants and chances of finding an appropriate tenant. Refusing to negotiate with a tenant. Recessions result in company cutbacks and fewer jobs overall, and renters on the receiving end find it more difficult to pay their rent. Although the lengthy and expensive eviction process is sometimes inevitable, consider instead negotiating payment plans with struggling tenants. Negotiations could include temporary partial rent payments, a rent freeze until a specific date, possibly with occurring late fees, or using your tenant's security deposit as rent. Ignoring maintenance upkeep. If you've been putting off addressing building maintenance issues, take care of them now to prevent them from turning into more costly fixes down the road. These include leaks, structural problems, windows or doors not sealing properly, and weather impact. Don't forget to trim the landscape. Keep common areas such as lobbies and garage clean and free from debris and prevent garbage and recycling bales and dog waste stations from overflowing. A well-maintained building helps attract prospective tenants as much as it keeps current ones grateful for a living in a clean and well-maintained environment. Now keep in mind tenant costs other than rent. Recessions affect not only a tenant's ability to pay rent, but also their additional monthly expenses such as utilities. Consider minimizing these costs by replacing insulation installing higher grade windows and energy saving thermostats and anything else that could help tenants keep more money in their pocket and be more likely to remain your tenant. Remember also that the same renters prefer to shelter in place during a recession instead of looking for a new place to live, which often incurs more cost, including moving expenses and application fees. By helping them stretch their dollar a little further, they'll be more likely to hunker down and ride out the challenging market. Now the good news is, Although a recession isn't without risk to property owners, it does offer one key upside. Recessions typically hurt the housing market more than the rental market. Fewer people want to commit the consideration of the expense of buying a home during a recession, so they opt out to rent instead. That means you not only have a good chance of renting out vacant units, but you also have more applicants to choose from and are more likely to find a qualified tenant. Furthermore, Rents generally don't dip during a recession. Instead, they either increase or hover around the going market rate, which helps remove the sting from having a vacant unit on your hand. Well, I hope I put some light on a rather dreary, confusing time that we are living in. If you do need help with your rental and you are in the Orange County area, 
give Trudor Property Management a call and we'll bring you more money with less drama.